Hi, welcome to my video, which is review four on the circles. And this video review is on the videos numbers 30 to 33. And as in previous reviews, treat it as a quiz and the questions could are marked. You give a certain number of marks and the total when you add up all the pages is 19. So let's do an extra practice. Let's do some review. On the videos. Number one, triangle PWV has PV6, PW9, and angle P73. Find the area to the nearest tenth of a square centimeter. So let's just draw that triangle. And we got a P, a W, and a V. Uh, PV is six. Again, this is not drawn the specs. Uh, PW is 9, as you can look at it, I got PV longer than uh, looks like, it is longer physically, uh, visually, but we just, an angle P is 73, so let's just go by what we have. So we want to find the area, so the area of a triangle is with two sides and included angle is a half of A, B, sine of the included angle. So that's a half of 6 times 9, the sine of 73. And when you plug that in your calculator, again, you can take a half of 6 to get 3. So that's 27 times sine 73. That gives you 25.820. And that's approximately, to the nearest tenth, is 25.8. And the square centimeters. And again, the questions are done in order of the videos. We have a circle here. It says O is the center. The arc ATB is 280. So ATB is 280. So that's 280 right there. The diameter is 20. I'll keep track of that. It says find the perimeter of the shaded region to the nearest tenth of a foot. So the perimeter of the shaded region. So the perimeter is like this. You go all the way around. So we have to get to get the perimeter of the shaded. We have to get the radius, which is OA, add on OB, and find the length of the arc and add them all up. So here we go. So we have 280, so we have 360 degrees in this, around the circle, minus the 280, so that gives us 80 degrees. So this arc AB is 80 degrees. That means the central angle is 80 degrees, because the central angle is the same side measure of the arc. And we have a diameter, which is 20. Your, Two radii makes up the diameter, so 2R is 20, so divide by 2, R becomes 10, so the radius is 10 feet. So that means OA is 10, OB is 10, and we got to get the length of the arc, so we have to get the arc length. So the arc length is central angle over 360 and it's 2 pi r because the arc length is a part of the circumference. So the central angle is 80 degrees over 360 degrees times 2 times pi and the radius we just found 10. So to make this simpler we can do, cancel up to 0 dividing by 10 and we want we can just make it simpler again we can uh, 4 into 8 goes 2, 4 into 36 goes 9, so really what we have is, we have 4 times 2, oh sorry, 2 times 2 is 4 times, so that's 40 pi over 9, that's the exact, but we want to change that to a decimal, so that's 13.8. 9.62 when you take 40 multiplied by pi 3.14 pi and divide by 9 you get approximately that 
So we'll say that's to the nearest tenth, so that's 14 feet. So the perimeter is 10 times 10 times the arc AB, which is 14. So that's 34 feet for the perimeter of the shaded region. So I add a little bit more. So not only did I find the arc length, I also had to add the two radii on to, to go all the way around the, the sector. Number three, we have a, a circle. This O is the center. It says that angle JMR, JMR is 40 degrees. So we mark that in. The circumference of the circle is 24 pi centimeters. Find the area of the okay, shaded section in terms of pi. Notice the shaded, shaded section is a sector. So let's see, we have 40. So that's an, inscri that's an inscribed angle made of two chords with a vertex on the circle. So that means this arc is 80. So JR is 80, that means the central angle is 80 degrees. And we have the circumference of the circle is 24 pi. Circumference is 2 pi r. So 2 pi r is 24 pi. Pi is cancel. So the radius is 2 and the 24 is 12. So we want the area of the sector in terms of pi. So the area of the shaded region is the area of the, the sector, or you could say shaded region if you want, is central angle divided by 360, and it's a part of the circle, so the area of a circle is pi r squared. So the angle is 80 divided by 360 pi, and the radius is 12. So we can make that, uh, cancel that, so 4 into that goes 2, 4 into that goes 9, so that's 2 ninths pi, and that's 12 times 12, so 3 you can cancel here, 3 into 9 goes 3, 3 into 12 goes 4. 3 into 9 goes once, 3 into 12 goes 4. So that gives us 16 times 2, which is 32 pi. And that's in terms of pi, and the area, and the circumference in centimeters, so the area is in square centimeters. Okay, we have another one to do. Try to vary the questions when you do a review or do questions, always making you think. Here we go. Number four, a chord of a circle is 24 inches long and 16 inches from the center. Find the area to the nearest uh, tenth of a square inch of the segment of the circle formed by the minor arc and the chord. So let's draw a little diagram. Always good to draw a diagram. We got a, a circle. The chord of the circle is 24 long. So let's make that 24 long. And here's the center, and it says 16 inches from the center. So when it says 16 inches, that's the perpendicular distance. So you leave here and go down to here, perpendicular. So 16 inches from the center is 16, perpendicular. Because if you went this way, it'd be longer. If you went here, it'd be shorter. So the shortest distance. When you say 16 from the center, that's the perpendicular distance. And we have a radius right here. And we have another radius here. And we got to get the area of the segment formed by the minor arc. Well, the minor arc is right here. Because this angle, if you... We draw a line through here and put another uh, radius. That would be the diameter. So this would be 180. So this is the minor arc formed by the chord. And so this is 
the area we're trying to find right here. So to work out that, we could we want to get this angle, or we can do Pythagorean. So let's call this. Um, let's see. Let's call this R. So I'm going to do that right here. We have a 16, a perpendicular, and, whoop, I forgot. Drawing it from the center, perpendicular to a chord, bisects the chord at 12 and 12. So a segment, drawing, going, leaving the center, going perpendicular to a chord, bisects the chord, so that's 12. So there's R. So that means that C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So we have R squared is 16 squared plus 12 squared. R squared, 16 squared is 256. 12 squared is 144. R squared is 400. R is plus or minus the square root of 400. R is plus or minus 20. And so R is 20. So we have a 20 here and a 20 here. So now we have to get the angle. So let's look for the angle. Let's call this angle X right here. So in this triangle, and again I'll draw that, uh, put the X right here. So if I'm dealing with this triangle here, and I want to get what this angle is, uh, sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cos is adjacent over hypotenuse, tan is opposite over adjacent, and in this triangle, this is opposite, and this is adjacent, so the tan of angle X is opposite, which is 12 over 16, and that's can be reduced to 3 over 4, I'll leave it as 12. So angle X is tan to the negative 1 on 12 over 16, or you can do 3 quarters, makes no difference. So that means that X comes out to be... 36.86 and that's approximately 36.9 if you want to go to the nearest tenth in the angle. So what we have is that we have the area we got the, now we got this oh we got what X is but X is here X is also here so the angle at the center, the central angle is twice 36.9. So that gives us 73.8. So the area of the sector is central angle over 360 pi the radius squared so that's 73.8 over 360 times pi times your radius which is 20 squared plug that in your calculator and you'll come up with 257 and to the nearest is 257.6 just check it out on your calculator and again that's uh, in inches, so it's square inches. And now we have the area of the triangle. And the area of the triangle, we got A and B are R and R, so it's a half of R squared sine theta. So it's a half of 20 squared. And the sine of the central angle is, the central angle is 73.8. And that comes out to be 192.1 to the nearest tenth square inches. And put it all together. So the area of the sector is, oh, the area of the shaded segment. Yeah, I must get the area of the shaded or the segment is the area of the sector which is 257.6 minus, right here, 
192.1 and that gives us 65.5 square inches inches so a little bit of math to work it out but put it all together so it's the area of the sector right here the area of the triangle which is here subtract the two of them and you get the area of the segment which is the shaded region formed by the minor arc and I forgot to put some uh, marks on that so let's go back and give yourself some marks if you got if you got the formula here give yourself a mark if you got this give yourself a mark so two marks five marks here if you got the uh, 80 give yourself a mark if you got the diameter or radius give yourself a mark if you write down this formula and you work it out to 14 two more marks and if you added all this up correctly you get 34 so that's five more marks seven for that page and let's go here and if you got 80 you get a mark if you got the radius you get a mark if you have the uh, formula for the it's five marks all together so if you got the formula, you get another mark. If you worked, plugged it in and worked this out, five marks all together. And this one has seven marks. So if you got the right answer, you get automatically seven. But I like to give marks going through. So if you have, if you have it twelve, you get a mark. If you worked out the radius, uh, tw twenty, you get a mark. If you worked out the angle here, you get a mark. If you double it. You get another mark, so one, two, three, four. If you got the area of the sector, a mark. If you got the area of the triangle, a mark. And if you subtract them correctly, seven in total. Twelve for that page. And that's nineteen all together. Take this sheet away. And if you got add up your score, hopefully you got nineteen out of nineteen to get a hundred percent. But if you haven't, divide your denominator into your numerator. Chain, get a decimal, move your decimal two places to the right to get your percent. And hopefully your review turned out to be great. And if you, again, if you like my video, click on the like button. Click on the subscribe button if you wish. Visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained, which is just one word. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video helped you. Bye-bye.